Okay, guys, so uh, earlier today I got an email from Virgin Orbit actually providing me with uh, sort of a first look at Launcher 1 having arrived yesterday. And by the way, the press were not invited to that event. You may have noticed in the video I released about Cosmic Girl, you didn't see Launcher 1. Well, it was arriving on a uh, C-17 uh, transport aircraft, well, actually a combination of two shipping aircraft. I haven't actually seen this yet. I would prefer to kind of watch it with you guys. Um, so that's why this is an instant premiere and that's or not an instant premiere but a scheduled premiere and uh, we're gonna go check this out together so let's watch launcher one arrive at spaceport Cornwall and I'll explain things bit by bit as time goes on it's amazing they opened this place as rapidly as they did given how little I saw oh I know that haircut anywhere <laughs> I don't know his name actually. He's, he's a Virgin Orbit tech who uh, has worked extensively on this rocket. Every square inch of it, uh, from the way he put it, to make sure that this actually, this test actually goes through. So the reason they have to ship this in pieces instead of just sending it on launch, or rather on Cosmic Girl, is because the vibrations, just for the distance, the distance that these things travel, or just for the distance that Cosmic Girl, rather, carries it, is actually some of the most significant stress that the rocket undergoes during its lifespan. So they really can't afford to put it underneath Launcher, or rather Cosmic Girl, um, for hours and hours of transatlantic flight plus the flight all the way from uh, uh, from Mojave to Fort Lauderdale. So here it comes. Like I say, this is my first time seeing this as well. Really cool stuff. Yep, there's the fairing. So it's being shipped in a couple of pieces. The fairing first, as you can see, that is packaged with care and then some of the satellite integration has already happened before the rocket even arrives. It's been put into a fake fairing. Um, you would have seen that if, you'd wa if you're watching my video that I released earlier today. So they put it inside that fake fairing to get it ready for integration to be put inside Launcher 1 and now uh, the fairing is arriving. Um, 500 kilograms to low Earth orbit uh, about 70% more than Rocket Lab can, and then 300 kilograms to Sun Synchronous Orbit. Um, so bigger payload because they carry it all the way up to 10,000 meters before they drop it. Um, it actually has about the same thrust as Electron does, even though it only has one engine. Um, oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah, I do believe that's a C-17 coming in. Yeah, yeah, it is. To, uh, to deliver the rest of Launcher 1. So yeah, once again, to avoid stresses to the rocket, that sort of thing, that's why they have to do this. They want to keep this rocket um, in the housing beneath the wing of Cosmic Girl as little as possible simply because of the vibration issues. And that's one of the key points, one of the key points of potential failure is during that short transition time from Newquay Airport or Spaceport Cornwall out to the launch point over the ocean. And they want to minimize the amount of time that they have the rocket slung under there before it takes off. Uh, there was uh, Mel Thorpe, by the way. I, I don't know if she ever takes any time off. Certainly not right now. That's a cool shot. So here we go. Those are massive transport aircraft. Really something else. Launcher 1 back there. Once again, two British military satellites, one Dutch. Um, we have Space Forge on board for a reusable satellite. They're going to be testing their heat shield on this particular flight. And they have another flight going first quarter 2023 to actually test the full-fledged article. Um, it's not flying on Virgin Orbit. I can't reveal um, well, actually, I don't really know, not officially know what uh, launch provider it's going with, but you may be able to guess. 
Anyway, so they're unloading right now, as you can see, and here comes Launcher 1. Again, one engine on this thing. It's a two-stage rocket. They're working on a third stage, by the way, and this third, third stage will be using next-generation propulsion. So it will be using an ion engine of some kind um, in order to get interplanetary capabilities. Um, that's an important thing for a future mission to Mars that they're planning with a consortium of uh, Polish uh, engineers. Looks like we have a, a poodle in the, uh, in the house that uh, loves to, to make a little bit of noise here um, as we have people arriving, it does appear. So uh, yeah, we've got, uh, got, 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 some, got some local, uh, local, uh, uh, local friends and neighbors here. Um, in this particular place that I'm located here in Plymouth. Um, so they're unloading Launcher 1 right now, and uh, now they're, they're preparing to take it into the hangar and to prep this thing and get it ready. I mean, it's not going to be long before they're going to attempt to launch this thing. We're only talking you know, a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, before they're going to be making the attempt. As you can see, that one big engine at the back, those things are... It's immensely powerful, like I say, all the thrust that Electron has um, in those Newton engines. Um, and it's a, say, two-stage rocket. Um, so, uh, and then ultimately three-stage and also ultimately reusable on the first stage. Um, but right now, it kind of has a reusable first stage, and that is Cosmic Girl. One of the reasons why I like this company, because of its innovation. Looks like, uh, we, yeah, we're close to wrapping up here. So, Launcher 1 is now here in the UK, a very short drive from where I'm currently located. Um, and I'm trying to determine whether or not I'm going to actually stay uh, long enough for the launch. Uh, that's going to be a difficult thing indeed. It's already been very challenging to stay here. Um, and once again, you guys have done an amazing job in helping me out and the contributions you've been making to allow me to stay here. I deeply appreciate everything you guys have done. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. And as always, stay angry about space.